got original 1966 F100. Uh, these are the way the radios look. Um, I try to make them as easy as I can to put in. I'm going to tell you how to put it in. When you get the radio, the bezel here in the face and the dial will not be on it. It'll be in a separate package. In behind here is a shaft. It's got a clip on it. Do not remove the clip. You just shove that in. It'll be set on five. That means the tuner in the radio is on five. All you do is just push that in and then put your screws in. Do not over tighten them. Just snug them up because if you over tighten them, the dial will not move. This is your toner and your volume. Now on these radios, you got quite a bit of dead air volume. That's the way the potentiometers are made. And uh, the radio's got a full Aurora Design conversion in it. This is your mic that you can run and plug wherever you want to. For your voice command, voice assistant, we're going to clip it right here. Plug it in over here where it says mic. Uh, auxiliary in. It has an AM FM stereo auxiliary in. Bluetooth, USB port. Four channels out, 45 watts a channel. It's got pre-outs on if you want to add a sub. And they do pretty good. Push button. This is your harness for your USB and a thumb drive auxiliary in right here. We're just going to run through it right quick. Uh, right now you're on FM. This one here, we went ahead and put LEDs in it. I got where I didn't put them in this because it's so hard to rig up. But you have wires coming out with plugs on them. It's on the bottom side of the radio. And uh, the flat plate is used to hold the, the uh, unit in. It's got a little circle in it right there over on this side, right underneath the volume, and it's going to say hole. That's where you want to drill a hole big enough to slip one plug at a time through that hole to get it through when you're installing the head. And then they're color-coded underneath just to plug in. That'll give you your LEDs, which is operating LED and a stereo LED. We'll go to AM radio, just turn the unit off and right back on. AM radio. Anytime you want to know where you're at, this button comes in handy. You can hide it on the lip of the dash or anywhere. Voice ID. AM 650. Off and right back on. Takes you right back to FM. FM 89.5. Blessing. So let us FM 88.5 We are all made for FM 89.5 That's my favorite channel here. Plays all the good stuff and a lot that you ain't never heard. I kind of like that idea. Alright. Got your toner. Just like you always had. Trouble and bass. And uh... First thing we're going to do is we just showed you how to do AM and FM. You can put this thing in scanning mode going down the road. And let it find station for you. You can do it with a push button or do it with a dial. Let's do it here. Put it in scanning mode. One, two, three. Oh, I'm sorry. One, two, three, four. Scanning for stations. Now it's going to scan and without the needle moving. And I'm going to show you how to find a station and then identify it. That's calling out with heaven's breath. Who's reaching wide? Evan Beresford plainly appreciates the aesthetic. Anytime you want to know where you're at while you're scanning. But FM. She'll tell you. Dot three. Ah, what we are here. So you might be looking for a station. If I came to America, my mission was to put the roundabout into America. I'd say thousands of lives. There's a station, but it's dead. It locked on it. So you like that, that station now? That's with Cologne on 91. One, two, WNXP. three. Station hold. She'll lock right on We've it for you. You want to identify it? Band who just FM 91.1. There is music from an Irish That's how that part of it works. Now we're going to do auxiliary in. 
you'll get a male to male cord like this. All you gotta do is let me get it, make sure I'm in the picture here. All you gotta do is just plug it in. Somebody might get in your truck and say, "Here, listen to this," and you plug it right in, put it on radio, and then turn it on. Whatever device you want. That's how it works. Anytime you notice a little light on the green, that tells you your oxygen are in. Anytime you want to go back to radio, whatever device you got, just turn it off. You don't even have to unplug it. We're going to unplug this and so we move on. And in 20 seconds, the radio will automatically switch back to where we had it. During that 20 seconds, if you want to go a little quicker, just turn it off and right back on. The water. Leon Russell before that with Uncle Penn and a brand new song by Kashina All right. Sampson. That's how that auxiliary Hello, end works. That's a single from our album that's Now we're going to pair a Bluetooth up. Well, tune in to Bring the your phone up, go to settings. You can do it here or we'll turn that up twice. PM. Let's hold this As down. Let's go to Bluetooth. Anna Lee host. She's my future new Bluetooth ready to pair. Showed up on the phone. All you got to do is tap James, on it. She'll tell you when it's done. And Del and more. The local brew hour tomorrow. Pairing completed. Bluetooth connected. Be All right. Now you can hold this down and do a voice command, like look up restaurants, call home, call the wife, whatever you want to do, or play music. Hook your mic up, and you can do it by holding this down again. Bring your phone up, or do it with the volume. Let's do it with the volume. Subaru at its area Tennessee retailers. Subaru. Play music. Back. Forward. Forward. Twice. Back up a repeat. Now. A phone call comes in, she'll come on there and say incoming call. All you do is turn your needle up one click to answer the call or press this one time. Twice to end the call or down on it if you want to hang up. If not, you can just let the phone do its normal thing, hang up. It'll go back doing whatever you had the radio doing. Alright, let's go to music. We're going to do a little test. All you're going to do is we're going to turn the radio off. And it's, it takes multiple devices. It'll always pick number one. So that's the one you want to do is probably yours. And then after you do the uh, pair up, you get in your truck, you get ready to go. When you turn on and have your phone, this is what we want to do. Say you shut it down, screen your music. Timer uh, is going. I have some people to thank here. I want to thank uh, a new donor, Joseph in El Dorado Hills, California, for his generous $100 a month recurring gift. Thank you. Well, maybe I didn't do it right. We wanted to find the phone. Sometimes it does that. $250 gift as a new donor. We welcome you uh, to the family. Another new donor, Marcy in Osseo, Minnesota, with her gift of $25. Thank you. And Mary All right, let's pair it up again and see what happens. We're going to take it offline. Oh, it just come in connected. Let's take it offline. Yes, and we don't Here. want, as we, as we asked for these... Bluetooth ready to pair. A ten twenty dollar gift. Do pair realize that is just as important because pairing completed. Bluetooth connected. The average person, maybe they've already given during this play. Play music. I'm stronger than a locomotive. Turn it off. And let's see if it finds a phone. If not, then I need to do it. Let me show my got a hole oh yeah it's open Patrick and I would love to have the excitement up. bluetooth connected seven that's what's supposed to be right back where we had it my first initial pair up might not have been good enough all right let's go back to radio stop music Pause. Less than two okay. hours. In a now it's designed so you don't have this in your hand or in your, you know, around where you get in trouble with it. You put it away, you can operate it off from the radio or this push button. One, two, three. You can always go to the relevant radio. 
XEO. XEO. Put it in my hand. USB port. You'll get one of these with a video on it. This will charge your phone, play a video auxiliary in. You can mount this in the glove box or hide it because you can operate all here. Plug this in, go straight to it. Advance. Twice to back up or repeat. Or I can advance here. Or I can advance back. Uh, you don't have to take this out. You can put it in pause by one second here. It's in pause. Right back to radio. One second. Right back to thumb drive. Twice down on volume. We'll put it in pause. Back to radio. Twice down on volume. We'll bring this back up. All right. So you got plenty of speakers in your truck. You want to do fader and balance. Here's your treble. It's all built in here. Back it up some. Bring it back a little bit. Take this little button. It's going to fader. Once. Hold. Fader adjust. Go back to your toner control. There's your rears. There's your fronts. That little click that you hear and tells you that you're actually a center. There we go. Fader set. Balance, quick, two, hold. Balance, adjust. Back to here. Left side, right side. Balance it out, let her set it. Balance, set. Now you have loudness, uh, EQ, and crossover built in here. Read your instructions, it tells you how to get in there if you want to do it. Now in a truck, you might not need it. It's going to sound good either way. That's your original 1966 F100 radio. Appreciate you letting me do it for you. Thank you.